The city build itself is where 17 railroads meet the sea. It was the direction that Houston business leaders had been pushing since the city's founding. The first railroad in Texas, chartered in 1850, ran between Harrisburg and Stafford, eventually to Richmond, and by the start of the Civil War, to Allington, across the Colorado River from Columbus, bringing agricultural products to Buffalo Bayou and awaiting steamships. After the war, new railroads extended into the rest of Texas and to states north and east, bringing timber and all manner of farm products. By 1900, Houston could bill itself as the busiest cotton port in the world, most all of it arriving by rail. The 20th century also brought a wider, deeper ship channel and the booming new oil industry, which filled tank cars bound for the port of Houston, home to fully half of the nation's refining capacity. There were railroad freight depots downtown, on the east side and the north side, with the biggest facilities belonging to Southern Pacific, the city's largest employer for decades. In 1930, the Chamber of Commerce boasted that 76 freight trains came in and out of Houston every 24 hours, with the vast majority of the cargo connecting to one of 72 steamship lines that served the port. Railroads truly were the economic engine of Houston.